The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're saucing up vocals using the sauciest delay plugin in Ableton 10. In my last tutorial, I covered everything you needed to know about compression and parallel compression to get these vocals sounding right. So let's go ahead and drag echo after our vocal chain. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for you. Now I like this echo, but this was not the effect I was going for. I want it to be a little bit slower almost as if it was an echo of the lyric. And I don't want the dotted rhythm. I'd rather just be straight, have the repeats just happen about twice. So let's just put it just above 0%. Back for the, hits game. It was all just a good time for you. the other control we have here on the left allows us to adjust the timing of one ear or the other. The echoes happen just ever so slightly apart, which increases the stereo width of the delays. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for you. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream. Got a one way to California. This echo has an input saturation to it created to emulate a classic analog echo unit. And when you drive the input gain on it, it adds a nice flavor of distortion across the wet and dry signal. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for you. You can apply the input gain just to the dry signal if you like the way this gain sounds and you wanted to just use it as its own saturation plugin. You also have invert the phase of the delayed signal. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. And I find that competes way less with the dry signal than having the phase in phase. So I'm gonna keep that out of phase. I may push the feedback up a little bit more. And let's move over to the next panel where we have our filtering section. Now low cutting before it hits the echoes and high cutting it is a really crucial way to help give the echoes their own space and the dry signal their own space. And you kind of get a little decrease in volume, so I'm just gonna bump up some resonance on each one to make up for it. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up. You were there by my side as it came up. Now this is not gonna be reverb on our dry signal. This is gonna be a reverb that we're not even gonna hear until the first delay. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream. And we also have a decay, so long reverb would be all the way up. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. I find reverb to be a really handy tool for panning things frontwards and backwards, so having it right here on the face of Echo is right where I want it. If we want these echoes to be as wide as possible, we can enable ping pong, which means we're only gonna hear them in one ear at a time, but this reverb is gonna help glue it together ever so slightly. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Versus that, which is more of a hard panned echo. This is like a uh, mostly panned echo because the reverb just kind of sauces it all together as one. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. We have mid side, which is similar to stereo where it's not constantly bouncing left and right. It does take all of the information that is not completely stereo, either detuned or out of time and gets rid of it so that the mono area is completely open for the dry signal. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for you. And stereo. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream. Got a one way to gallop. Maybe for this we'll do ping pong as well. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for you. Little puppet with a big dream. Big dream. Got a one way to California. Let's go to the modulation tab. And this is where we can have the speed here 
wobble ever so slightly so the delays will feel slightly early and slightly late or we could do the same thing with the filter to have it move it was all just a good time for ya little puppet with a big dream big dream got a one way one good it's actually kind of cool but i would rather use it at a lower percentage but I pushed it all the way up so you could hear what it was doing. And finally, we have an envelope, which will do the same sort of filtering thing, but based off of transients rather than the rate that you choose here. And this phase control will affect how in or out of phase the left and right ear are, but I like the stereoness of having them 90 degrees. And finally, we're gonna go to character. The reasons why Echo is my favorite Echo plugins is this control right here called ducking, which side chains the wet signal to the dry signal here within the plugin. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up. You were there by my side as it came up. And I'm using the release to control how long it takes for the echoes to start filling in from when the singing ends. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came a long, long way up. You were there by my side as it came up. Take it back to the old read. You were there waiting for me, for me. Are your plucks popping? Have you spent countless hours programming your plucks with no results? Introducing Poppin' Plucks Volume 1, the complete collection of serum presets that will get your plucks so popping, your song just might pop off. Poppin' Plucks is available now only at holoops.com. Just below it, we have Wobble, which is a pitch modulation amount. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Got a one way to California. If you use it at just a smaller percent, maybe five on each. Singing back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Got a one. Add some nice size to the overall acapella. Next, we have some noise, which decimates the echoes into bits. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little bubble, little bubble, little big dream, big dream. And then that happens. Actually, for this, I don't think I'm gonna use any of the noise. I'm just gonna go right Thinking to the gate here. For the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little bubble. And now this is an input gate, which lets you pick how sensitive to the incoming signal the delay is. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Got a one way to California. Looking back came along. As long as it sticks out in dynamics, you'll be able to snag it with the gate. Same thing with the noise. I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I'm just gonna disable it because I want all of my lyrics to get echoed because we have these nice gaps between the lyrics to fill. The next thing I wanna do is turn this into a parallel rack because when I mix echoes, I prefer not to use the wet dry knob, but just for the example, I wanted to keep it there. But now that I have this dialed in, I'm gonna hit Command G or Control G on Windows and we'll call this our half note echo. And now we can control the volume of our half note echoes right here with the volume of this chain. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream, big dream. Got a one way to California. And now when I had first dropped the echo on there, I kind of like that fast thing that it was doing. So I might try and bring that in and maybe mix them in a little bit too. My day, my day, my day, day one. I kind of like that. Actually, let's see what a faster. Thinking back for the hits game. Hey. It was all just a good time for ya. Little puppet with a big dream. Well, we pretty much just turned this into a slap echo, so we could just rename this one slap. Thinking back for the hits game. It was all just a good time for ya. And let's try doing a little bit more wobble on this slap. Thinking back for the hits game. 
It was all just a good time for ya Little puppet with a big dream Got a one way to California And because we filtered it so much, I'm gonna hit the input drive up a little bit more on this to distort it Thinking back for the hits game It was all just a good time for ya Little puppet with a big dream Got a one way to California Looking back came a long, long way up You were there by my side as it came up Take it back to the old read You were there waiting for me, for me And now for a lush part of the song like this where you want some more delays, you could just click this vol- Push that up. My day one, my day one, my day one Day one, my day one, my day one, my day one, my day one. yeah, yeah Well, there you have it. That is my complete sauce guide to the Echo plugin that comes with Ableton 10. I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful. And if you want to see the rest of my Ableton ABCs where I break down every stock plugin in alphabetical order to make this beat, just check out the links in the video description. I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.